you know, today is a day to work on the walls and that means I have to put in some enforcements or reinforcements into the stud work, kind of like some cross timbers um, that are then going to carry the load of the bathroom furniture, some light fittings and the bathroom radiator. So before I can uh, start padding out the walls with uh, rock wool, that needs to be done. And that's what I'm gonna start doing now. I've already marked out in the stud work where the height of my, um, my furniture is gonna be. So this is where the cabinet is gonna end height-wise. That will be for the worktop, but it's for the cabinet. So now I have to see where the, um, the actual fittings or fixings in the furniture are so that I can get the distance from the wall right. So according to my little schematic here, um, both the mirror cabinet and the under sink cabinet are supposed to be sitting on the same sort of um, vertical line and it's 112 centimeters away from my reference point which is the wall around the window. So it's this, it's this outer edge here um, which will be sitting at 112 centimeters and this is where the screw that holds the weight, one of the screws that holds the weight, will be. And of course, that's inset a little bit, so I have to get the distance uh, from the outer edge to the center of this hole here, and then add this to my 112 centimeters. That's 4.1 centimeters, or 41 millimeters. So 112 and 4.1 is 116.1. Also, it sits a little bit lower than the um, the top edge here that I've already marked out, so I have to get that distance as well. And it looks like 6.7 centimeters. So I've already marked my 6.7 centimeters out there. That's the, um, the tiny little mark at the top. So that's where my screw hole needs to be height-wise. So I've now put this uh, self-leveling construction laser to give me a perfectly level line through that marking there. And now along this horizontal line here, I'm gonna measure 116.1 centimeters. So that's gonna end up pretty close to the edge of that stud. And my insert nuts are pretty big. I think they're like eight millimeters in diameter. So I might just uh, set it in one more millimeter, 116.2, make 116.3 will make me a lot more comfortable. So I'm gonna mark that out now, and then I'll set, set about screwing that in. So that's just gonna be my pilot hole. Now I'm gonna screw it. Um, a bigger hole in there that will fit my insert and nuts. So that's that screw hole in its uh, more advanced form. And now this can take this insert nut. So this has a sort of like a wood cutting thread on the outside and a fine machine thread on the inside. It's going to take an M6 um, machine screw in a moment. And is now ready to take one of these M6 machine screws. That I can then hang my bathroom furniture off of. And that should make a very, a very solid fixing. Now this under sink cabinet of course has two of these on each side. So I'll have to measure the distance again from either the top down there or from the center of this hole to the center of that one and then transfer that measurement onto the timber. But theoretically, because the under sink cabinet is squared, I have square angles. If I run a plumb line through this and then just get the, um, the height measurement, it should tell me exactly where my second hole should go. And it looks like it does. So there is the laser cross centered on the insert nut that I already put in. 
Down here is my second marking, and now what I'm going to do is just run a line through there. Just mark that out. Drill another pilot hole and all that stuff, and put in the second insert nut. Distance from here to there. That's 52. And even by rough measurement, that will take me right in this space, somewhere between the joists. So 52, there's my zero point there somewhere, and 52 is here. So this is where um, cross timbers will have to sit between the studs. One here, one further down to make a line with this, and one all the way up there. So there's my trusty laser again giving me a nice self-leveled line there um, across the timbers. So I've already made a pencil mark. So that's where I need to put in a cross timber reinforcement. So I cut my first piece of timber there, made a mark where I wanted to sit against the mark on the stud. And I'm just gonna pre-drill some holes into the stud work here, just to make it easier and to put in kind of like these long deck screws. Kind of eyeballing this, but it should work out nicely. Um, yeah. I should do it. Now first I'm just going to eyeball the distance from this screw to the other one. Not very stable, so that's two centimeters of 54. Should be 54 over here. Just make my silver mark right there. Now switch on the laser again, give myself the level line across again, make the mark proper. So there is my measurement right there. After that, I took the measurements for the upper or the mirror cabinet. And lo and behold, it's 4.1 as well. That's handy. And then I was repeating the same steps as before in a different location. So I'd call that a partial success, or a success so far. The fixings work. And the cabinets are pretty much where they're supposed to be, 112 centimeters from that reference wall. And I was then a question of repeating those same steps, like measuring, pre-drilling the holes, screwing in the insert nuts, testing the screws for the radiator, as well as an additional light. So here we are. It's a uh, not secured or anything, I haven't put these uh, these screws or bolts in yet. It's really just, so just to see that everything lines up and this thing is ready to go on the wall. And I guess it can safely be said that it is. Excellent. So now yeah, it's time to tackle this wall. Where actually there's a lot of, uh, a lot of steps to be done first. I have to take these wires and kind of thread them to these two studs so that they come out where the light fixture that I want to use um, needs them. Next, I need to take this piece of timber, get it in there, and for it to provide the back plate for that actual light fixture. And there's a bit more to do, and that is to put in um, back plates or um, reinforcement wall supports for the vertical radiator that in time will go onto the other side of this wall to heat that bedroom. Now the plan is for that vertical radiator to sit right in the middle between these two doors. Right, so the radiator that I have a that I have in mind is 180 
by 50. And of course I had gotten those measurements of the website and the um, manufacturer's manual that also told me where the wall fixings in the radiator were and that's where my wall supports needed to go. Now I've done all of these with pocket screws because obviously I can't get in there unless I use kind of like a 90 degree angle drill adapter or something. And also because I don't want these screws to interfere with one another, I had to slightly offset where the pocket screws were so that it shouldn't give me any issues. And then I use the same materials and steps to put on the lower supports. Now with all these wall supports in, I'm almost at the end of my wall project. But of course there is still one more to be done, and that is the toilet system frame. Now that one's going to be a little trickier. I started by cutting away the soil pipe to make room for the toilet system frame. Now, I have my good old trusty laser out again. So what I've done is I've taken a measurement of the soil pipe right in the middle and then aligned the vertical line of my laser with it. And um, now I've put up the, the system frame. It has this kind of bore hole for this hole up there in the middle and the top. So I'll make sure that the laser line is aligned with that as well. And have the horizontal right in the middle of these cutouts or holes there where the, uh, the wall bolts are going to go. So I've marked those two little green lines there. And if I connect those two marks, it should give me an exact horizontal line and that's it. Now I'm going to take the system back off and then I can make my, my drill holes that are going to take the wall bolts. Turns out I didn't have the camera on during the next steps but they're easy enough. Take these threaded bolts here um, they have little plastic stop ends at the uh, screw top in there. So what I did is I stuck these into the frame and then into these bits there. And there's these, um, I don't know what these are called, brackets or something, that um, you clip down and they then clamp down on the thread. So now it, it can no longer be pulled out but it can be adjusted by turning the screw. Now that should be a simple and straightforward enough affair. I have two by fours running perpendicular to the direction of my normal joist right here. I, of course, measured this out before and I know that those two by fours are there and waiting to take the bolts so I'm gonna drive through the feet here because the actual soil pipe that goes through the wall to the outside um, did not align with the frame and the height that I needed it. It comes out pretty much down here. I just got this 40 uh, mil offset pen connector and stuck it in there. And of course, the toilet pan doesn't connect to this one. Rather, I'm going to get another pen connector, get that in there, and this gasket, this rubber seal, will make sure that um, it's going to be watertight all the way in. I've already tested this particular seal here earlier and nothing came out. So that's encouraging and I shall keep testing it as I go. Right, but first, screws or bolts that go on the bottom. Of course, I have a little problem. I can't get this thing under here, but I have adapters for this, either an offset one or a 90, 90 degree angle one. I'll see which one's better. Now, I'm going to try the 
offset solution first. Cut that off. Probably want to go like so. Fasten it all the way yet though. Leave myself a little room for adjustment. Now I'm going to check with this. Lucky okay, up. Uh, Okay, that's at a 12.1 mark and Okay, so they're off by about a millimeter, but I think up here It would be more noticeable So I'm quickly gonna change this I'll just fine tune that a little bit. So I want this one to be pulled closer. On that side here. Yeah. That's more like it. On this side. Okay, perfect. And just to make sure that everything is still nice and plumb. Yeah, that's good. That's perfect within the bars as well. And same there, perfect. I'll take it. <laughs> 